DCP demo. The DCP can be created only in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to bring three files down into the timeline. The first is an error message. Do you want to change the project frame rate to match your clips? And the answer is yes, change. Notice that we have three different aspect ratios that are relative to this, the DCP aspect ratios. We have 4K DCI, 4K scope. Those match exactly the 4K DCI and scope for DCP creation. We have 4K UHD, which is almost a perfect match for flat. So we'll start with that. Right click on your clip and bring up the Create New Timeline Using Selected Clips dialog box. Deselect Use Project Settings. Those are usually default settings that don't match your project. So what we want to do is to go to 4K DCI flat and select this. We also want to change the 23976 to 24 for the DCP. And that creates our timeline. Now the next thing here is to name the timeline. You'll simply name the timeline with the title of your film, your first and last name, the resolution and aspect ratio of the DCP, as you see here. Then you will select this, copy and paste this, and put it into the clipboard by Command C, and this will become the name of your project. So basically you would come up here and save the project and paste this name into the box from this media pane. After the project name is set, I will double click the timeline and in the timeline window from the Fairlight menu, go to bus format, click bus format and change the bus format to 5.1 surround sound and say OK. OK, so here we'll come to some of our settings for the DCP itself. Single clip export video will bring down QuickTime to DCP. We have Kakadu JPEG 2000 and go to DCI flat. Deselect use interop packaging. We're going to scale this back to 220. Leave disable on quality automatic. So that covers this section. So here we are at the advanced settings window and we're going to leave the pixel aspect ratio data levels the same. Color space tag and gamma tag same as project for both of those. Bypass re-encode when possible. We leave that checked. And down here, enable flat pass should be on with clip settings. That will recognize the clip settings here. This will recognize the color of your clips and preserve that. So now we're finished with the advanced settings. Now we can close the advanced settings and go to the composition settings. And I will set enable flat pass with clip settings. That should retain the color more effectively. In composition settings, I will edit this. And let's take a look at the settings. So we have the title of our project. We have the title of our film here, if it's two words, caps on each. I'm going to select these and build out this thread. It's 2D, it's 24 frames per second. English, territory, US. Notice the audio type is 5.1 surround sound. I'm going to use the actual under studio. You can put a custom name. So you can put as many letters of your last name that can fit here. Up here, you can see that that is part of the thread. This is just a studio name. I'm going to put Doe here. The date, there's no facility. I will put Sempty and OV. So when you come to the composition settings, these are the settings to note. And I'll just leave it here for, for you to note. We've gone over this before. Next, I will place my cursor here, Command A, Command C to copy, and Command V to paste in the file name. The file name will retain the full thread because this will be the name of your folder. So now the file name is taken from the composition name, and this will create the name of the folder for the DCP. Very important. Add this to the render queue. Add anyway, it's looking for five points around sound. And when we say render all, it's rendering. Notice the, the color drops out just while it's rendering, but that's not the way it's going to look on the screen. Once it's completed, you'll see the way it looks. It returns back to the beautiful color grade that you applied. So now you can check what your DCP looks like. The folder is named the folder that you gave to the, to the file. 
There are two ways to check your DCP after it's done. The first way is that you can simply go back to the media pane. If you know where you exported the media, I exported it here, I'm going to create a new bin saying DCP so I don't get this mixed up with the other material. And I'm going to drag my DCP in here. This is the DCP. So basically you can see this nice color that came through. Okay, that looks very nice. Uh, we hope that this color will go out onto the screen. Um, the other way that you can check it is by bringing this DCP into DCP-O-Matic, which is a free software that you can download. Basically what you do is say File New, and it will allow you to bring in your DCP that you created. So what I'm going to bring in is up here I have the Praying Mantis Jane Doe. You can see we're checking this in DCP-O-Matic. And here it is. The studio version is installed upstairs in CCB 229 on stations 1 and 2, and also in CCB 126 on the first eight stations in the front of the room along with the teacher's station. So there are nine installs uh, in that room. And you can work in there on the weekends and when class is not in session. There is a sheet that shows the scheduling of classes in that room on the door.